156 facts about the 156 Unova Pokemon. Let's do this. Victini. Victini design is based on apple rabbit slices as seen in Japan. Snivy. Before its official release, Snivy was nicknamed Smugly by fans and article writers, and it was named that because of the smug on his face. Servine. Servine had one of the dumbest Who's That Pokemon segments in the anime. Like, watch this. But you'll never be able to beat my Servine. 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 Who's that Pokemon? Gee, I don't know. A Servine? Superior. Superior actually has arms. If you didn't notice, it keeps his arms behind his back because it's more royal like, since his design is based on royalty. Tapig. Tapig was the only Unova starter to get a signature move, which was Heat Crash, and it continued to be a signature move until Generation 8. Pig Knight. Pig Knight is featured in two of Tapig's Pokemon cards, with one of them training together and the other one of them resting. Embor. Embor is the only starter Pokemon to ever have a different hidden ability from its pre-evolutions, with the ability being reckless. Oshawott. Oshawott's shell grows from his belly button, and yes, it is detachable. Duat. In the anime, there is a competition where Oshawott and Duat compete against each other to see who has the best Scalchop, and the winner is given a golden Scalchop in the title Scalchop Island King. Samurai. The reason why Hisui and Samurai is a dark type is probably because the Japanese name Dei Konki translates to the Great Sword Demon, and that sounds like a pretty evil name. Pat Rat. Pat Rat originally blinked with only the black dots in his eyes, but later in the anime and games, it started to blink with the entirety of the design, so it's unclear whether it has very large eyes or very small eyes. Watchhog. Watchhog's patterns on his body shine in order to threaten predators, which is why it has the ability to illuminate. Lillipup. Lillipup is currently the best Pokemon to spear on black and white with because its evolution line is lighter than the Tapig line. And the reason why this matters is because just recently it was discovered that heavier Pokemon have a longer Pokeball animation, making the Lillipup line a lot faster. Herdeer. Herdeer is probably the first Pokemon that was tamed by humans, since its Pokedex entry states that it has been seen in cave paintings. Stoutlin. Stoutlin is one of the few Pokemon that have officially died in Pokemon, with Stoutlin dying in the anime. Purloin. Purloin didn't originally stand on his hind legs, it started standing upright in Pokemon X and Y. Lyperd. Pokemon champion Seijon Park had his own Lyperd release as an event Pokemon in South Korea. Pansage. Pansage was first revealed in a Core Core magazine leak, and this is how they thought it was going to look like. A more chubbier version of itself. Simisage. Apparently the leaf on Simisage's head is very bitter, so I guess humans use it as a spice. Panseer. Panseer is the only non-Generation 1 Pokemon that evolves with a Firestone, and I didn't even notice the abundance of Generation 1 Pokemon that evolved with a Firestone. Simiseer. Simiseer ranked dead last in the Pokemon General Election 720, where they had fans vote for their favorite Pokemon. So technically, this is the least favorite Pokemon of all Pokemon. Pampor. Pampor and his counterparts can be encountered with a berry that negates super effective moves. For Pampor, it has a 5% chance to be caught with a Rhino Berry, which halves damage from super effective grass-type moves. Simipore. Simipore, along with its counterparts, are based on the three wise monkeys, with Simipore representing the Seed No Evil monkey, which is why his eyes are closed. And with the other two, they represent Hears No Evil and Speaks No Evil. Muna. Muna was referenced before it was even a Pokemon. In Pokemon Red and Blue, there's a picnicker that says that there should be a pink Pokemon with floral patterns, which is a pretty awesome foreshadow. Musharna. In the manga, Black has a Musharna that eats his dreams, because his dreams are so overwhelming that he literally passes out, which is also why he is known as the Dreamer. Padov. Padov had a mystery gift event where it was given out with Ash's OT along with perfect IVs, pretty much making Ash canon in the Pokemon games. Tranquil. According to his Pokedex entry, many people believe that deep in the forest where Tranquil live, there is a peaceful place where there is no war. It's just an area of tranquility. Unfezant. Unfezant. Blitzel. Out of all the main series Pokemon games, Blitzel can only be found in Route 3 in black and white. It appears nowhere else. Zebstrika. Zebstrika and his pre-evolution might be based on the steeds that pulled Helios' chariot because their names were Bronte and Sterope, which are Greek for thunder and lightning. Rocky and Rolla. In Unova, there is a televised version of bowling that uses Rock and Rolla as bowling balls, and the funny part about it is that there's a chance of them exploding. Boldor. There's a mini game in Magikarp Jump where the Magikarp has to push a sleeping Boldor. And keep in mind, Boldor weighs 225 pounds. Gigalith. Weirdly enough, Gigalith is known for the move Solar Beam, but it doesn't even learn it naturally and also has terrible special attack. But hey, I guess his rocks do absorb solar energy to create beams, really weak beams. Wubat. Wubat can breed with Rillaboom, the monkey. Monkey. Swoobat. Swoobat has a trippy looking Pokemon card that looks pretty cool. 
Drillbur. For a brief time, Drillbur had to move Hydro Pump while it was in raids, which was an illegal move. Since then, it has been patched out and cannot be used online. Escadrill. Escadrill is hands down the best Pokemon in Black and White 2. To put it simply, it is incredibly broken and is still used for speedrunning. Audino. Audino is the only Nova Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution, which is pretty remarkable given that it was released just one generation before Mega Evolution became a thing. Timber. If you catch a Timber at the cold storage in Black and White and then transfer it to Black and White 2, it will say that Timber was caught at the Pokemon World Tournament since the cold storage used to be in that area. Girder. Girder has a clown nose, and that's all I could find. Conkledur. It is said that Conkledur taught humans the art of making concrete more than 2,000 years ago. Temple. Temple has a human face, and I hate it. <laughs> Palpatone. Palpatone is an abomination, and I also hate it, but it has a cool shiny though. Seismitoad. Apparently, Seismitoad gives great massages and is most popular among elderly people. But the funny thing is, it has a poison touch ability, so it's pretty risky. Throw. According to his Pokedex entry, Throw always travels in packs of five, and if any member can't keep up, they will discard his belt and leave the group. Sock. Originally, Sock and his counterpart had horns instead of eyebrows, but they were changed because it was too similar to Tornadus and Thunderous, which is too bad. Sawaddle. This is what Sawaddle looks like when it's sleeping. It's pretty cute. Swadloon. Swadloon's expression looks hilarious when put on other Pokemon. Like, check this out. And this. And what about that? Levani. Levani likes to weave clothing for small Pokemon using a sticky silk from its mouth. So if you see wild Pokemon wearing clothing, it was probably made by a Levani. Venipede. Venipede has multiple potent entries stating that it has venomous fangs, yet it cannot learn poison fang. Whirlipede. Whirlipede has a base stat total of 360, which is probably a reference to it rolling around like a wheel. And also, funny enough, it can only be encountered in Pinwheel Forest. Ha! <laughs> Scolipede. Even though Scolipede and Cinescore spawn on opposite sides of the Gala region, their potent entries state that they have fierce territorial battles, and that the victor makes a meal of the loser. Cottony. Cottony can be used competitively at level 1, with the moveset Leech Seed, Toxic, Substitute, and Protect, which is pretty funny and trolly. Whimsicott. Whimsicott is a complete troll because, according to its Pokedex entry, it likes to sink into people's homes and hide their important things. And to put salt in the wound, it also likes to scatter its cotton all over the place. So, no one of this Pokemon has the ability Prankster and Infiltrator. It is just a nuisance. Patillil. In the Avengers manga, a Patillil is seen wearing safety goggles to be able to work in a sandstorm. And this was before the item safety goggles was even a thing. Lilligant. The flower on Lilligant's head is said to be the hardest flower to blossom. Even Master Gardeners have a hard time getting it to bloom. Basculin. Basculin has been confirmed to be a filler Pokemon. It was said by Ken Mori that they realized the Unova region was lacking fish Pokemon. So they created Basculin. Sandial. It took 62 episodes for Ash's Sandile to join Ash's team, which is the biggest gap between the debut and capture of any of Ash's Pokemon. Crocorock. Crocorock and its evolution are the only ground dark type Pokemon that currently exists. Crocodile. Ash's Crocodile might be the first Pokemon to ever have a held item while being on Ash's team, with the item being a pair of black glasses. Derumaka. According to his Dex and Tree, people use Derumaka's poop to keep themselves warm inside their clothing, which is kind of weird. Darmanitan. In black and white, if you use a Rage Candy Bar on the Darmanitan statue in the Desert Resort, a hidden ability Darmanitan will appear. Maractus. In black and white, Maractus can only be found in the Desert Resort, but has no way to negate the Sandstorm damage, so it's living in constant pain. Dwebble. Dwebble and its evolution, Crustle, were originally meant to be Furnace Pokemon with Ceramatic Shells, which might be why Roly Coley is its natural enemy. Crustle. Silence Crustle uses Shell Smash in the anime, and Ashley leaves a shell to attack, and this is what it looks like. Scraggy. When you think about it, Scraggy's pants is just literally dead skin it's hanging onto. And according to his dex entry, the saggier the skin, the better. Scrafty. Even though Scrafty is a dark fighting type Pokemon, it has never been released as a fighting type card in the TCG. Sigilyph. According to Ken Sigamori, Sigilyph's original design looked even crazier than its current one, and they had to tone it down a bit in order for it to work. Yamask. Yamask's mask is based on a death mask, which is literally a wax version of the person's face after death. And these Pokemon carry it because they are once that human. Kofagrigus. This is what Kofagrigus looks like when it walks in the anime. And also, here it is walking in Mystery Dungeon. It's it's pretty goofy. Tirtuga. Tirtuga is likely based on this turtle that Kinsukumar drew for a magazine cover. And this was back in 1997 before Pokemon was even a thing. Caracosta. Caracosta and his pre-evolution are the only fossil Pokemon that have a rock type as their secondary typing, which is pretty random. Archin. Archin is said to be the ancestor of all bird Pokemon, so Pokemon like Zapdos and Altaria evolved from Archin. 
Our chops. Our chops has to run 2.5 miles to start flying because it's a terrible flyer. Trubbish. Trubbish is like related to coughing and grimer, and the theory goes like this. When a grimer dries out and evaporates, it becomes a coughing. But when it's thrown in a garbage bag, it fuses with the bag and becomes a trubbish. Garbador. The Gigantamax Garbador has a Master Ball on the side of his body, so I guess someone threw away a Master Ball. Zora. On top of being able to transform into Pokemon, Zora can transform into humans as well, though sometimes it's not perfect because its tail is left over. Zoro Art. There was a glitch in the Japanese version of Pokemon Black and White 2 where a falling Zoro Art could literally freeze and softlock you in the game. And if you want to know more about this, check out my top 10 game breaking Pokemon glitches video. Minchino. Professor Juniper's Machino can be shiny in the opening of Pokemon Black and White. Sanchino. Sanchino has a special coating of oil that has many uses. It helps them deflect attacks, clean themselves, protect them from dust, slide from enemy grasp, remedy bad skin, and also sells for a high price. So it's like the holy grail of oil. Gothita. Gothita's bows are part of his body and are described as feelers that increase his psychic powers, which is pretty nasty given that it's probably made of flesh. Gotharita. Gotharita is nicknamed the Witch of Punishment because it likes to spirit away sleeping children at night, which is a pretty unique nickname for a second stage Pokemon. Gothitelle. Gothitelle has the ability to see his trainer's lifespan, and when it learns his trainer's lifespan, it starts to cry, which is pretty creepy, especially if you own one of these Pokemon. Solosis. According to his dex entry, Solosis special liquid allows it to live in any environment. So if this Pokemon wants to live in outer space or in the depths of the Earth's core, it apparently can. Duosian. Weirdly enough, Duosian and its evolutions can learn Thunder by TM, but not Thunderbolt, which doesn't really make that much sense. Reuniclus. According to his dex entry, Reuniclus's liquid grants wisdom to those who drink it, but the trade-off is, is that it poisons you, so you can be ignorant and live, or knowledgeable and die. Ducklet. Ducklet is probably based on the ugly duckling, and its evolution Swanna probably represents the beautiful swan the duckling grew up to be. Swanna. In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, there's a Swanna that says you can call me Swanna if you want, just don't call me Maybe, which is a reference to the Call Me Maybe song by Carly Rae Jepsen. Vanillite. Sometimes when Vanillite is surprised, it'll lose its snow covering, and this actually happened in the manga. Vanillish. Vanillish weighs 90.4 pounds, which is the same weight that Lyre weighs, which is really random. Vanillux. According to his dex entry, Vanillish can survive even if it loses a head, and get to live relatively problem free. Deerling. Deerling and its evolution are currently the only normal grass type Pokemon. Sawsbuck. This is what Sawsbuck looked like in its early concept, and it was maybe for the thought of it having seasonal variants. Amolga. There's a possibility that Iris' Amolga was owned by a previous trainer before it was caught in the wild, because from the get go, Amolga knew Attract and Hidden Power, which are both TM moves. Carablast. When trade evolving Carablast and Shelmet, Carablast steals Shelmet's armor. That's why their evolution seemed to be flipped. A Scavalier. A Scavalier has multiple potent entries stating that it can fly around at high speeds, but its speed stat is a mere 20, making it one of the slowest Pokemon, so it doesn't really make sense. Fungus. Fungus is 8 inches tall, which is probably nearly the exact proportions of an actual Pokeball, so it would be pretty easy mistaking it for a ball. Amoongus. Amoongus's shiny resembles a Master Ball. Frillish. Frillish and the new Pokemon Snap are evil. You can see them preying on Magikarps and even a Lantern. Jellycent. Jellycent and its pre-evolution were given the ghost type late in development to give it more balance, which inadvertently made him the first water ghost type Pokemon. Alomomola. Alomomola is the evolution of Love Disc, and no one can tell me otherwise. Also, its name is a palindrome. Joltik. Joltik, the smallest Pokemon in existence, has a higher defense stat than Wailord, the second largest Pokemon. Galvantula. In the manga, Blast Galvantula has the ability to make their webs not only electrified, but also poisonous, which makes it a pretty dangerous threat. Pharaoh Seed. Pharaoh Seed is one of N's Pokemon you can catch in the wild. Ain't cool enough, N's Pokemon spawn with a custom animation and the OT to N, along with perfect IVs. Ferrothorn. Before the ability patch, the only way one could get a Ferrothorn with the ability Anticipation was either catch a Pharaoh Seed in the Friend Safari or get lucky enough to breed one, making an Anticipation Ferrothorn quite rare. Clink. In Sword and Shield, Clink has a cool animation where it throws up his partner and catches it, which is pretty cute. Clang. According to his dex entry, if the mini gear that it launches to attack doesn't return, Clang will literally die. Clean Clang. There was a fake Mega Clean Clang leak during the release of Pokemon X and Y, and funny enough, it was referenced in the recent Pokemon Journeys episode. It was drawn and reported by eyewitnesses who say they saw it. Tynamo. As of right now, it is impossible for Tynamo to hit a ghost ground type Pokemon because it can only learn normal and electric type attacks, which is pretty funny because they added Golit and Golurk in the same generation. 
Electric. Besides the opening to the black and white movie, Electric has only been featured in the anime once, and it was only shown for a few seconds getting demolished by Pikachu, which is pretty funny. Electros. Electros is probably based on a skyfish, which is one of the many cryptids in the world, like Bigfoot, which is probably why he has the ability to levitate. Elgem. Elgem and his evolution, Behem, have acronyms in their names. Elgem is a reference to the acronym LGM, which stands for Little Green Man. And Behem is a reference to the acronym BEM, which stands for Bug Eyed Monster. Behem. Behem confirms in the anime that it's hard to hypnotize stupid people, confirming that Ash, Jesse, and James are all dummies. Litwick. In Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, a group of Litwick convinces Soul Assist to disguise itself as Garantina to scare people, which apparently the fear gives Litwick energy. Lampet. Originally, Lampet was going to be the final evolution of the Litwick line, with the first stage Pokemon being just a lit flame. But the idea was later scrapped, and Chandler was introduced. Chandler. In the Pokemon of the Year poll held in 2020, Chandler was voted as the most popular Generation 5 Pokemon, receiving 50,000 votes, which is kind of surprising. Aksu. Aksu's design was reverse engineered from Haxorus's design, since Haxorus was created first. And this is something that's been done plenty of times, like the Kato starters, for example. Fracture. In the Unova region, there are Pokemon Zodiac signs, and Fracture is the Simmer Pokemon and is known as the Archer. Haxorus. Haxorus was the earliest designed Unova Pokemon, being created during the development of Pokemon Platinum. Cubchu. Cubchu is the only Pokemon to be specifically missioned by ESRB. In multiple rating summaries, they mission there's a Pokemon with an animated mucus dripping from its nose, which is pretty random. Bear Tick. Bear Tick is a big boy, and even defeated a Joltik by just accidentally falling on it in the anime. And I'm not surprised, just look at the size comparison. Cryogonal. Cryogonal has a long ice chain that it uses to attack and capture prey, and you can see it here in the manga. Shelmet. Even though Shelmet has a metal exterior, it is not a steel type, so Shelmet is basically the bug inside the helmet. Acelgore. The move Water Shuriken became Acelgore's signature move in Generation 8, since Greninja isn't in the game. Stunfisk. In the anime, Silent Stunfisk can fly, which makes absolutely no sense. Minfu. Since Lissandre catches all of his Pokemon in Master Balls, this means that he chose to catch a Minfu in a Master Ball, since his Mean Shao comes out in one. Mean Shao. Mean Shao and his trainer Mustard are both voiced by YouTuber ProZD in the Twilight Wings series. Drudagon. In Black and White 2, Iris' Drudagon is holding a life orb with a Sheer Force ability, which is pretty broken because Sheer Force removes added effects and also gives a damage boost. Golette. Golette in its evolution was designed by James Turner, which is the first Westerner to officially design a Pokemon. Golurk. Golurk has a cannon form, but it has only been shown in the spin-off game Poke Park 2 and more recently in the Journey's anime. Ponyard. Ponyard and its evolution are based on chess pieces, Ponyard being the pawn and Bisharp being the bishop. Bisharp. Bisharp is most likely based on Jet Jaguar from the old Godzilla movies, since, if you didn't know, Pokemon's been partnered with Toho for over 20 years now, who are the creators of Godzilla. Buffalant. Buffalant can only be found in New York and Pokemon Go, staying true that Unova is based on the state. Rufflet. Rufflet is the only unevolved Pokemon that can learn Sky Drop, which is pretty amazing because this bird is a baby bird and apparently can lift very heavy Pokemon. Bravery. In Sword and Shield, the taxi driver in Windon will say that originally they were going to use Bravery as flying Pokemon, but later they decided to use Corviknight instead, which could be an easter egg for Legends Arceus since you fly with Bravery in there. Vullaby. Despite its potent entry stating that its wings are too tiny to allow it to fly, it can learn Brave Bird and fly, which makes no sense. Mandibuzz. If you flip Mandibuzz upside down, you can see it's wearing teeth of a human skull. And if you flip its pre-evolution Volibuzz upside down, you can see it's wearing the head of a human skull as well. Heatmore. Heatmore was given a new signature move in Generation 7, but the weird thing is, it wasn't even available in that game, so the move was just unused. Durant. Durant supposedly developed their metal armor to resist its mortal enemy Heatmore and its fire type attacks. But funny enough, it makes them even weaker since steel is weak to fire. Dino. You can pull back the hair on the official Dino plush, and this is what it looks like. Funny enough, Dino is supposed to be blind, so I'm not sure what to think here. Zwellius. Zwellius and its evolution have German numbering in their names. Starting with Dino, it goes Ein, Zwei, and Drei. Hydreigon. Hydreigon and its evolutions were originally meant to resemble tanks, but the idea was later scrapped. Interestingly enough though, you can see the tank-like tread marks on their bodies, which is probably leftover patterns from the scrapped design. Larvesta. Larvesta is the first shiny Pokemon seen evolving in the anime. Volcarona. The only way to get a Volcarona before the post game is by going back to Route 1 and using Surf and doing a long detour to a house where this guy will give you an egg. And then after that, you have to level it 58 times until it evolves, making this a pretty tough Pokemon to get in black and white. 
Kobolian. Kobolian was born to lead, and it said that can calm even the most vicious of foes. Terrakian. Terrakian is the strongest of the Swords of Justice, and is probably the one who trained Keldeo to become a member of their group. And the evidence of this is that Terrakian and Keldeo have identical stats, but their attack and special are flipped. Virizion. In the Rebirth Pokemon manga, Virizion, along with other Pokemon, have a special burst evolution where they can literally fuse with their trainer. And this is what it looks like. Tornadus. Originally, Tornadus was going to be the color red to pair with Thunderish's blue, but Game Freak thought it'd be too similar to throw in Sock and swapped this color to green instead. Thunderous. Thunderous is known as a Bull Strike Pokemon, but funny enough, it can't learn the move Bull Strike because that became Zekrom's signature move. Reshiram. It is said that Reshiram can scorch the world on fire, and also will burn down kingdoms that are ran by greedy kings. Zekrom. Zekrom, along with Reshiram and Kiram, were all once known as the original dragon, where all of them were fused together. Landorus. Oddly enough, Landorus is placed after Reshiram and Zekrom in the Pokedex and not with Tornadus and Thunderous. This might be due to the fact that it's considered the leader of the three. Kiram. Kiram probably has the shortest Pokedex entry out of all Pokemon, with a mere 10 words. It says, it can freeze ultra cold air, its body is frozen. Keldeo. If you cook curry with all three of the Sword of Justice Pokemon in Balamir Lake, a Keldeo will appear. Meloetta. According to the guitarist during the Meloetta event in black and white, Meloetta had red shoes, but lost them. Maybe it was Tangela that stole them. And lastly, Genesect. Genesect learns self-destruct naturally, and this could be explained by Team Plasma creating the Pokemon. They probably gave it self-destruct as a backup plan in case Genesect got in the hands of an enemy. And there you go, 156 facts about the 156 Unova Pokemon. And if you want to help out with the next video in the series, leave a comment down below about one of the Kalos Pokemon. The more obscure the fact is, the better. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, is this your first fact video? Well, you should click right here and go all the way back to Kanto and catch up. Or if you want to laugh, check out my latest parody video. I hear it's pretty funny. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.